Hi YouTubers, Pete McBennett here with another synth project. Uh, I know I promised I was going to get into more details of this filter, and it will, but I had to uh, put this one up there because I've uh, taken the Arduino, well, a different Arduino, or the Nano. If you remember on one of the previous videos, I had this guy, uh, the Arduino up here, and just eight notes. Well, it's the same uh, software, but now I've interfaced it to a toy keyboard that cost me a whole five dollars. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Uh, there's a link below to uh, the wiring underneath. Basically, all all the guts have been pulled out of. There was just a tiny little circuit board that generated some really cheesy sounds. Uh, that was pulled out, and uh, it's just the Arduino with two holes drilled in the top, and then uh, the wires coming down through the holes and then interfacing to the little switch matrix, uh, which is, you know, it, it was a lot of soldering, but it was, it's very basic, really, how it works, and I threw on a volume control and uh, output jack. Uh, there is a uh, uh, image of the insides flipped over with the screws off, just uh, link down below so you can see uh, what that looks like inside. But uh, trigger output, of course, just like, it's, it's the same as this guy. It's just uh, now I have all and of course <laughs> the keyboard itself is a little noisy it's only a five dollar toy but hey now it's a synthesizer and of course you see me this same as before I have all the control the analog controls up here resonance um, back off on the resonance a little and of course as before we have we have the built-in So that's a lot of fun for uh, when, I, when I saw the thing for five bucks, I said, you know, I'm going to tear it open, take the guts out. And, you know, I, I like to say, this is not circuit bent. This is circuit created. This is just simply the keyboard, uh, a way of controlling my IOs of the, of the, uh, on the Nano. Uh, you know, a larger keyboard, you know, like from a thrift shop or something would be great in, to interface to with, you know, uh, larger keys but for now I this is just I think this is just too cool um, it's uh, as I said this has um, 18 notes which is an octave and a half and that was actually a, a common number for of keys for old vintage mini synths uh, kit projects etc they seem to go with, with 18 an octave and a half so um, this keyboard actually had more than that but I only had the uh, enough IOs for that. I'm not using a matrix, it's just one wire per IO, just down and dirty, get it done. Um, pretty much, I just had to show that because I think it's pretty cool. But uh, I'm going to, uh, through the video I promised with a little more details of how this filter works, because this filter can, you know, it's pretty, it's standalone, can be, uh, you know, any audio signal can be routed through it uh, and trigger source, but um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to uh, let it go for now and just wanted to get this one up there so uh, you could see the uh, well, audio out right there. Let me just go ahead and pick this up. This is just uh, USB in, uh, USB power in, obviously for programming it also, but right now it's just going straight off of uh, one of these guys. But it's light as a feather. It doesn't weigh anything. As I said, that's where the batteries were. I don't use the batteries. Strictly off the uh, USB. Let me get a little bit closer there. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, 
It's cool because it's so simple, but it sounds so great with this little filter. And as I said, the PWM, uh, if you saw the waveform, is, is built into here. So all this has to do is do the filter, the attack decay and the filtering. So anyhow, comment below, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys later.